Ramos at Copa, Kevin O'Connor, Sidney Roberts, Ephraim Eady. Thank those at the City of Chicago, Mayor Lightfoot, Celia Mesa, Dana O'Malley, for allowing the family to view the video of their son during his last seconds of life and respecting their sensitivities and seeing their son pass before them. By now, all of you have seen the videos of Adam Toledo. They are especially moving, saddening, distressful to see a 13-year-old boy shot at the hands of an officer. For those of you with children, you can relate to some of the pain that the Toledos are feeling today. Those videos speak for themselves. Adam, during his last second of life, did not have a gun in his hand. The officer screamed at him, show me your hands. Adam complied, turned around. His hands were empty when he was shot in the chest at the hands of the officer. He did not have a gun in his hand, contrary to the reports made earlier today. The family, counsels for the family, we do not want to compound this tragedy by inflaming emotions or inciting violence. It is especially important to keep the peace. And to that end, we'd like to thank the Latino community, the Latino leaders for their peaceful demonstrations and their peaceful protests. It is truly a testament to who the Latino community is. With that, we have no further comments. We will be taking questions. Thank you for your time. I am Adina. So this is important to clarify. You're going to see that video in real time, just as I saw, are you Ms. Sweeney? As I saw the video in real time, you will not see a gun. You will see a foot pursuit down an alley. The Farragut High School is on the right. He approaches the fence. The officer says, stop, stop, hands. Show me your expletive hands. Adam makes a motion, goes like this, and is shot. It's kind of almost like a pirouette. Now, the slow motion version that you're also going to see, it is not clear that he has a gun. That video needs to be forensically analyzed, enhanced, zoomed in, so that you can see what's in his hand. And there's also another video out there that uh, V. Naguyan put out there. It's a little bit different than what I saw. Okay. Right. Yeah, I Yeah, I heard the state's attorney's proffer at the bond hearing. At the time Adam was shot, he did not have a gun. Okay? In that slow-mo version, whatever he had in his in his hand, whether it was a gun or something else, there was something in his hand. He approaches the fence. He lets it go. He turns around and he's shot. I can't comment to what the state's attorney's office does. Um, it's unfortunate that it was portrayed and depicted like that. It really incited the family as well. I think this morning as well, it was reported that he had a gun in his hand. And this is why I want to be especially clear right now that that child complied. Adam complied with the officer's request, dropped the gun, turned around. The officer saw his hands were up and pulled the trigger. Sí. Un asesinato de un menor de edad. Bueno, nosotros vamos a hacer nuestra investigación. La ciudad van a seguir haciendo su propia investigación. Copa también va a hacer su propia investigación. Nosotros vamos a hacer todo lo posible para obtener justicia para Adam. Es nuestro gol 
para que todos que están responsables para el muerto del niño están responsables. Adam um, lived with his mother, Elizabeth Toledo. He lived with his 90-year-old grandfather, who I call Abuelo. He lived with his 24-year-old sister, Esmeralda. He has a 21-year-old brother, Marcos Jr. He has an 18-year-old brother, Andres, who both live outside of the home. He has an 11-year-old brother named Anthony. He has father, Marcos Sr., also part of his life. This is a very close, tight-knit Hispanic family. All of those who lived with him adored this child. His teacher spoke very highly of him as well. Look, the family was brought some solace and comfort to see the video of their son. They want justice for Adam and whatever that may entail. Obviously, Cook County State's Attorney is going to investigate this and they will handle um, any repercussions in that regard with regard to officer who killed uh, Adam. Is there any, is there any indication uh, of what he did have in his hand at, at any point? So have you seen the slow-mo? I have not seen the slow-mo. Okay, so it could be a gun. I'm not going to deny that, that it could be a gun, but I can't tell you with 100% certainty until I have that video forensically analyzed and enhanced. But it is not relevant because he tossed the gun. If he had a gun, he tossed it. The officer said, show me your hands. He complied. He turned around. There's a still photo going around on the internet with his hands up and he shot in the middle of his chest. I don't know if the officer had enough time or not. All I know is that the officer is trained to not shoot an, uh, an unarmed individual, not shoot an unarmed child. There are topics in the consent decree with regard to foot pursuits, training, etc. This needs to be addressed in this investigation. If he asked him to toss it and show his hands and the kid complies, then he shouldn't be shot. So I do want to thank COPA on this because with such expediency, they allowed the family to view it. They initially allowed the family to view it the Friday of the funeral, and we pushed it to Tuesday when we were there. Mother, father, the eldest son, and the eldest daughter, and grandfather. Um, we'll be filing the appropriate cases. Um, we're entertaining a variety of causes of action against the officer in the city. No, we filed thus far the probate action and we are preparing our next steps. We've had had uh, discussions with the city of Chicago, and I have to say that everybody thus far has been extremely cooperative with the process. The officer's um, name has not been released. I did, um, I did check a little bit about him. From what I understand, he had no prior discipline, no prior events. Um, I, I don't want to get in too much into the officer until his name is disclosed. You know, the family doesn't know Reuben Robin, so I can't speak to that. You know, a lot of people have asked about that, but I don't think it matters whether Adam is a choir boy, whether he is involved in some other untoward activity. The fact of the matter is that he was walking in the street and he was shot, shot unarmed. That could have been me in that street, that could have been my son in that street, that could have been any one of us in that alley that evening. Our 
our office has already started our own investigation. Well, he asked if it's an assassination. If you're shooting a, an unarmed child with his hands in the air, it is an assassination. Permítame con mi español, por favor. Okay. So se ve el niño en el callejón y la policía detrás de él. Él le grita, para, para, manos. Muéstrame sus manos. El niño parece que tira, tira algo inmediata, inmediatamente detrás de la pared, la cerca de madera de la escuela. Lo tira, el niño voltea y a este momento lo mata. Después de eso empieza, empezaron a resucitar al niño, tratar de resucitarlo. Eh, la policía levanta la sudadera que el niño tenía puesto, buscando dónde entró la bala. Um, llamó para un médico. Empezaron a tratar de po poner como una curita de plástico para tapar donde estaba saliendo um, el sangre. Empezó a darle compresiones. Um, cuando la curita no funciona al principio, empezaron con otro y dar más um, compresiones. En este tiempo ya estaba llegando más policías en tratar de resucitar, revivir el niño. Well, in, in these actions, typically you would be naming the officer individually and as agent for the city. We are, we are doing our best efforts to try to resolve this as amicably as possible. Thank you for your time.